If you are a designer and you've ever tried Dolly or Midjourney, you definitely thought one thing, can I really use it in my workflow? With all the features they have, I feel like they might not be the best choice for something more, more demanding than generating images. And I think I found an alternative that checks all the boxes. The tool is called Design, and it's pretty much a platform for AI-assisted designs. It's not just an image generator that takes your text prompts and turns them into images. And it's not just a background remover. Design can edit existing images transform sketches into visuals, generate consistent characters, upscale images, and even help with branding concepts. There's even a way to make money with design. What design does is take the most developed AI models and put them to actual use that caters to both professionals and newcomers. Professionals will find many ways to automate routine tasks and make the design process easier, while newbies will be able to substantially level up their projects, even if they're just getting started. Let me show you the most basic things design can do, image generation and image modifications. On the main page, I click text to image and type in my prompt in the window. Then I can pick a style. There are ton tons of options to choose from, from photorealistic to artistic. And if no style fits me, I can create my own by training AI on my images or designs. Now the prompt I have is pretty basic, so I'll click prompt improver to make it more detailed and descriptive. Next up, I can pick the aspect ratio by either selecting from the list or just in the slider. And lastly, I can input my own seed number for more control. Then I click generate and check out the images I got. They're really, really good. Tons of detail. Everything follows the prompt well, and I don't see many artifacts from AI. It's a strong start already. But let's take it a step further and modify an image. On the panel to the left, I just pick AI edit and choose what I want. Edit part of the image, insert an object, or erase something entirely. This feature works well with AI generate images and even the photos you upload. It's super versatile, but these features are just scratching the surface. Design -like like I said, can do much more. For example, if you are a designer, can help you create logos, get a rough sketch of your logo, upload it to design, choose a style, and type in a description in the prompt window. Design will generate multiple versions of the logo based on your input. No need to draw or fine tune it yourself. AI does the heavy lifting. The results are quite impressive. Sometimes the outputs might look more like a digital art than logos, but for branding materials, this is great. Now, let's say you need a product photo shoot, but don't have time or a studio. With design, you can upload your product image, remove its background with a single click, and replace it with something that fits your branding. The background removal here is shockingly accurate. I'm used to seeing leftover edges or strange artifacts in other tools, but design keeps things clean. And if you're stuck for background ideas, design suggests several ready-made options. And what if you only have one model for a photo shoot, but need to showcase multiple outfits? Easy. Open the change clothes feature, use the lasso tool to select the clothing area, and type in a prompt describing the new outfit. Here's a tip for you. Don't select the entire body. Leave anchor points like hands or feet so the body proportions stay natural. If design shrinks the figure slightly, just select slightly larger area than the clothing you want to replace. Now, are any architects watching? This one's for you. Have a sketch you didn't have time to visualize? Forget about hours of 3D modeling, texturing, and rendering. Upload the sketch to design and let AI transform it into a full concept. The quality is seriously impressive. And since this is image to image tech, you still have access to various styles and looks. What amazes me the most is how closely the generate images resemble the original sketch. Not exact copies, but definitely close enough to be useful in presentations or client pitches. Working with files and layers is easy too. Design supports SVG files, meaning you can drag and drop vector designs and start editing them instantly. The layer system is and straightforward. If you've used any design software before, you will feel right at home. No complicated interfaces, no unnecessary menus, just design freedom. And here's where things get even better. All these use cases can indirectly help you make money, but design also offers a direct way to profit. Heard of print-on-demand services like uh, Printify or Redbubble? You can create custom t-shirt or hoodie designs with design, export them in various formats, and upload them to those platforms. With the right designs, you could start making sales and earning passive income 
in no time. What I love about design is that it never stops evolving. With tools like Midjourney, we have to wait forever for updates, but design, they constantly add new features, they improve all ones. Design trends change fast and design's team seems committed to staying ahead of the curve. Even though I'm not a professional designer, it's obvious that with design, creating something outdated is nearly impossible. Their tech evolves as fast as the creative industry itself. Getting started with design is super easy. Just visit the website, create an account using Google or any email and you're in. No paywalls, no forced subscriptions. The free tier is generous enough to let you explore and see if design fits your workflow. If you want more advanced features or higher resolution exports, there are paid options, but you're not locked into anything upfront. The interface is clean, intuitive, and free of clutter. During my entire time using it, I never felt lost or overwhelmed by menus. On the left-hand side of the dashboard, you'll find core sections like home, projects, and community. That's pretty much all you need to get around. The dashboard itself is visually driven with clear shortcuts leading to specific tools. Here you'll see handy tools like sketch to visualization, logo designs, and other AI powered image modifications right on the home screen. From this dashboard, I can launch any tool design offers directly. Perfect for quick edits or small projects, but for larger, more complex designs, I can create a new project and access all the advanced features within the full editor. This flexibility makes it useful for both casual users and serious designers. And speaking of tools, design's feature set is quite impressive. You can transform 2D designs into 3D with a single click. You need to create a custom color and book, type a simple prompt, and design will generate unique pages in seconds. And those portrait filters, they're really fun to use. The range of filters is huge from artistic to hyper-realistic, making it easy to create unique photos. If you're job hunting or need a professional LinkedIn profile picture, design has you covered. Upload an image of yourself and it will create a polished professional portrait in no time. Check out my AI made profile pic. Don't tell me I don't look good. Using design not only gives you access to a ton of cool features, but also makes you part of a creative community. There's a special community tab where you can check out designs, images, and projects created by other users. It's an amazing source of inspiration, a great way to learn. Each design comes with its prompt, the tool used, and the model that generated it. So if you see something awesome, you can figure out exactly how it was made and try it out yourself. It's like having a design masterclass built right into the platform. But my favorite feature, the one I think most people will use constantly, is generating consistent characters. If you've ever worked on a design project involving characters, you know how critical it is to keep them consistent across different scenes or poses. In tools like Midjourney or Dolly, this can be tricky. You have to extract the seed from the reference image and hope for the best, but with design, it's so much easier. Here's how it works. I can train the AI model on my own character. It can be a photo, an illustration, or art. I can upload up to 30 images of that character to train the model. The more images I upload, the better the results, though training does take time. My advice is to upload as many references as you can, start the training process, and check back the next day. Once training is done, generating that same character different scenes and poses becomes effortless. There's one crucial trick to get in consistent results. Never delete your character's base prompt. That core description should always stay in the prompt window. You can only add specific actions or environmental details. For example, if I want my character wearing boots to sit at a table, I might remove the part about boots if there is a chance the table could cover them. This keeps the AI focused on what matters visually. Small tweak to the prompt, one click and voila, done. Consistent character generation is actually a staple for design. The simplicity of it all and the visual consistency. If I needed a mascot for this channel, I would generate with design. The question remains what you should do when you don't have a character yet. In this case, you can generate it with design and train a model off of just one image and it will still work really well. More images are always better, but even one is enough. I really enjoyed playing around with design. Give it a try. You might be surprised what you can create. I will leave a link for you to check out design in the description. Thanks design for creating such an amazing tool and sponsoring this video. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one.